Let's move on to Browns at the Patriots. Patriots minus 13, total of 46. 3.25 p.m. on CBS. They've kind of made this a, a little bit of a primetime game. Uh, it's at Gillette Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts. You know more about these two teams than anybody. I really do know more about both of these teams than anybody. I would put that to the test. Give me in like 30 seconds. I'm not going to be able to do that. Do but, it in a minute. All right. I think what we saw on Monday Night Football is going to be a lot like what this game is going to look like here. Okay. I think the defense for the Browns are a lot better than the defense for the Jets. Outside of that, it don't matter. While the skill players for the Browns are incredible, far better than anything the Jets have, far better than anything the Jets have, better running game, better receivers, all all the way across the board, the quarterback is the same. The coach is worse. Freddie Kitchens is out of his league. What Bill Belichick does to Baker Mayfield and Freddie Kitchens is going to be criminal. Yeah, that's a good word for and it. This one's at home. That's a that's a really good word for it. This is in New England. They they're going to have their way with them defensively. I don't know what the defense will do to Tom. This is a good defense, and if Tom gets staggered, he's just made it clear. I'm not taking hits early in the season. I'm just not. You can hit me in January. I'll stand in the pocket and make a throw. Now I'm not. He's just gonna throw it on the ground. So will they cover? I don't know. I don't know what the offense is going to do. I know this. This is the league, a team that leads the world in takeaways against the quarterback that leads the world in giveaways. I don't know what you want me to tell you. And a coach on one side that knows every nuance and every facet to every part of this game against another coach that I don't know knows very much. I agree with you. And I think people are going to get carried away by the fact that the Browns have all this flash, all this talent, two weeks to prepare, and they're going to look so much better, and the defense is going to get after Tom. That actually might happen. And and they're going to just be different on offense. They're, they're not. They're not. I uh, I need to correct a, a gambling stat. Okay. You know the trend that I used last week for the Raiders and the, uh, the Packers? No, but the fact that you're correcting gambling trends is um, pretty... Pretty funny. Right? On, yeah. on par. On, um, on brand. <laughs> so the Browns are on a bye. Or coming off a bye. Coming off a bye. And the Pats played Monday night. Yes, sir. And we had the same thing happen with the Raiders and the Packers. Okay, I didn't remember and I, that. I told you that the team coming off the bye was 30 and 15. Oh, wow. This is one it's, of those where I was looking other stuff up and I missed that. It's the other way around. The team coming off the bye is 15 and 30. Against the team coming off Monday night. Basically, I'm going to tell you this. But I don't know how many times. I guess that's only happened 45 times. Basically, coming off a bye is about 50-50. It, it, it virtually does nothing for your team. Yeah. It helps you get healthier, but it also keeps you out of rhythm. I mean, this, this is... Yeah, it you can, you out of rhythm. You can spin it however you... Whatever the outcome is, you know what story to write. Yeah. They were either rusty or they were rested. Yeah. You know? The other team was, was either tired... Or they were they were you know battle tested and in, in mid season form like you, you can come up with a reason for you, everything you right? can make it say whatever you want it's all bullshit yeah. at the end of the day the game is played on the field and how it happens is how it happens and I'm just gonna tell you Sir William Belichick ain't getting got by Freddie Kitchens now I think you're probably right there probably right you know how I like to do those little money line bets. With all the rest of my bets, yeah, I'm almost confident enough to where I just I just do not see a world in which I, this is this could be the death nail of me. I do not see a world in which the Browns beat this team. I'm rolling Patriots minus thirteen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm checking that money line. That's my Let's. Uh, it, oh, I'm sure it's no. It's only minus one uh, seven fifty. Let's see. That's not bad. No, the other money lines I had to pair it with was like minus fifteen hundred, minus a thousand. Yeah. Minus seven fifty ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Let's